Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Hello. Hope that today is treating you well. This is Thursday, February the 10th, 2022. What messages does Spirit have for you today? As always, take what you need, leave the rest. And as always, thank you so much for your support. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the family. Okay. We have a good time here, okay? I like the fact that you all uh, really support each other in the comments, and it really does mean a lot, okay? It's not, you're not just supporting me, but just you're supporting each other as a whole, and I appreciate that, okay? Wow. Hmm. What's going on, Virgo? That's unexpected. Clarify the devil card for the earthly space. Throat chakra. Hmm. This could be some talking. Uh, some. Talk, some talking negatively, somebody talking negatively to you and really not um, being fair with it, okay? And you have to learn how to fight your battles. Like this is a situation where I go where you say, you know what, this person, I'm not going to keep letting you say this shit to me. I'm not going to keep on letting you, allowing you to do this shit to me. And you don't expect me to say anything. You don't expect me to bite back. You expect for you to have an opinion about whatever the fuck is going on, but you don't want me to say shit, okay? It's time for you to, to really... I want to say punch their lights out, Virgo, but I don't want to get you locked up. Okay, got the five of of, of swords, the eight of uh, communicate, the eight of communication, the eight of wands, and the death card. So it's time for you to say something. Uh, it's time for you to come up out of of whatever it is that you're doing or what not doing, and say, you know what, it's time for me to say something. But it's time for me to stand up for myself. Okay. Because if you don't, people are going to keep trying to rule over you, run over you, and and everything else over you, okay? They're gonna try to rule over you, okay? Huh. <laughs> I heard a part from um, Color Purple, if you had Harpo, if you wouldn't have had to rule over Sophia, so and so wouldn't have got her, or something like that. So it's almost as if, um, if you don't stand up for yourself, people are gonna keep running over you, people are, are, gonna, are, are gonna keep on upsetting you, people are gonna stop, people, people are gonna continue to try to take advantage of you, you got to speak up to yourself. You got to nip it in the nip it in the bud, Virgo. Okay, you need to say this. Okay, um, no matter how hurtful it may be, no matter how much you don't want to say it, you got to. Okay, but you got to end it because these people feel like they can keep on doing this shit to you, keep on talking you, talking to you, with diarrhea outside of their neck, saying shit to you, and think that it's okay. Mm. Nope. So at some point, you got to know when enough is enough. You got to say, okay, what do I need to do? Okay. What do I have in my bag of tricks? What can I say to this person to make this person hear me? Okay. And let them know that I mean business. Got to say something. And when you say whatever it is you need to say, they're going to feel it. Okay. And they're going to walk the hell away. They, they don't have, the, they're not going to have any other choice but to walk away because you're going to put them in their place so good. You gonna, It's going to feel like a vacation for you, Virgo. It's going to feel like a vacation. Got to do it. Say what needs to be said to find your peace, to find your solitude. Speak your truth. Okay. Speak your truth and tell them, look, I'm not going to keep on talking to me that way. And when you speak your truth, then you can pick up that big ass stick. Okay. Unless you pick up that big ass stick beforehand and mash them and smash them in the head with it, however it resonates with you. I'm not saying anything about being violent. Speak with your words. Speak with your words, Virgo. Speak, speak those words. Let these people hear you. They want to keep on coming at you. They want to keep on, you know, upsetting you, saying things to you that needs to be stopped. It happens. We got the devil card. It, it happens too much. It's like people feel like they can, they are allowed to say things to you. Okay. They take you out, just they take you out of sorts, or just they think that they can say stuff to you and they do it all the time. Do something physically, emotionally, or whatever, and it's gonna shut you down. If you're shutting down when people say something to you that you don't like or when they do something to you that you don't like, it's time for you to change that shit, okay? You got to be your own change agent, Virgo. Be your own change agent. A little fortune. When people talk to you crazy, treating you like they ain't got no damn sense. Tower. The wish fulfillment. So I think that you keep, you keep on allowing people to come in and, and take your peace, take away your power and use it as they own, as they own. It's like you have a, the habit of having people come into your life, friends, family members, lovers, or whatever, to come in and steal your power, 
take their powers and use it as their own, okay? Start holding on to your power. And, start, and stop letting go of, of what no longer serves you, you know? You don't know how good you can have it or how good you really have it until you really see your true, the truth of, of who you really are. It's like you don't even realize the gifts that you have, the emotions and tranquility that your life can bring because you keep tripping off the same shit. Different day. You don't re realize just how good you can have it in your life. But you let people steal your power. You let people steal your thunder. How many times must we have this conversation, Virgo? Please listen. You too many people have hurt you, have 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 uh, hurt your heart, have have ruffled your feathers here. Um, they've caused you a lot of heartache, a lot of pain, and and suffering. And you suffer in silence. It's like. You know, what else can I do? You know, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to fight this battle. Yes, the hell you do. Open up your mouth and speak. I don't give a fuck. If they don't want to hear what the hell you got to say, keep on talking. No, you're suffering in silence and your heart is breaking because you don't know how to stand up for yourself or you do know how to stand up for yourself. You just don't want to want to offend anybody. You need to you need to get get a grip, okay? Feel how feel the strength that's already within you. We pulled out, out the the uh, magician card earlier, everything is already within you. What is the worst that you can do when somebody says something to you or do something to you don't, that you don't like? What you going to do? Sit there and cry like a baby? Okay? Or take it like a champ and speak your truth. You don't have to put your hands on them unless that's something, you know, that you're being led to do if they put their hands on you first. But... Mm -mm. Like no matter who, people from the past, people from the present, every, it's like a constant thing. Huh. Conflict, conflict, conflict. Because you're not saying what you're supposed to say or you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. They're stealing your weaknesses and they're gaining strength from that. You know, But you got to learn how to cut these people out. Cut these people short so they can leave you to hell alone. Know your value, Virgo. Know your worth. Stand up for yourself and fight because a lot of people challenge you. These people think that they can step to you and say anything they want to say to you. I don't give a fuck if they're a child, a family member, a lover, a coworker. They think that they can come to you anytime, any place, and, and just screw you over. And they think that it's okay with you. Why? Why do they think that it's okay with you? Why do they, these lovers or whoever think that they can come to you and do anything, take from you, steal from you, have a one night stand with you, treat you any kind of way? Why? Why do they feel that they can do the same thing to you over and over again? Because you've done it to them before. Because you keep accepting the BS. You keep on. I say you all do. Okay. But you're accepting this. You accepted the first time they did it and it hurt you. You expected you did it. You accepted it the second time they did it and it hurt a little bit more. But you didn't say anything. You, you accepted it the third time they did. You probably mentioned it. Well, why would you do this? Or why would you say that? But they kept doing it. Hmm. It's happened one too many times, and you haven't put your foot down the right. You put your foot down the right way to make these motherfuckers do what the hell you say. Put them in their place. They won't do it again. Okay, you got to stand up for yourself. Stand up for what you believe in, and stop letting this shit keep you up at night. It's keeping you up at night because of what? Because of you. Okay, because you aren't willing to say anything. You aren't willing to do anything. You aren't wi willing to put somebody in their place. If they big and bad enough to come to you and call you out your name or put their hands on you or take from you and steal from you, stealing your energy, whatever, not listening to you, running over you, doing things to you in a negative way, thinking that it's okay, they're going to keep on doing it because you're letting it. It's like you're letting people run amok in your life, okay? But you got to have some truth. And they feel good doing it. They feel like, Virgo, these people feel like they have power over you. You want to stand up for yourself? They already know you're not going to stand up for yourself. They're going to keep on doing what the fuck they're doing to you because you keep letting it happen. Destiny, relationships, whatever you're doing in your life, you've got to listen more to your intuition. It's, it's like the time, the time is out. For you sulking and feeling bad and or whatever the situation was. You got people in relationships, you know, who who you love and care about. They may love and care about you, but they know they can run all over you. They know that they can get away with shit with you. 
because you didn't took them before. You didn't took their kind. They didn't took your kindness for weakness, whatever it was they said they were going to do or they didn't do. You didn't hold them accountable. So they felt they need to keep, to keep doing it. They felt like they had power over you. Okay. Your destiny is to listen more to your intuition. Okay. Just don't turn don't turn your head on things that's staring you right in the face. You know you need to change some things. You know you need to stop doing some things with these people. Stop accepting whatever it is they're throwing you away and move on. Move on to the right partnerships and alliances because the ones you have in your life, some of them, they ain't worth a poot. Okay. Boo boo probably smell better than them. You need to walk away. And that's going to move you toward you need to walk. You actually you actually need to walk ahead so you can accept new new partnerships and alliances. People who are going to treat you with some respect. People who are going to listen to you. People who not who are not going to growl over you. Okay. Don't let these people take your your kindness for a weakness. They are. You know, why do they keep doing this? You know, why do these people keep doing this to me? Because you keep letting them, okay? Uh, you can look at it however it is you want to look at it. But if it's for you, you know. If it's not for you, then it's not for you, okay? You know what? You know you better than anybody else. And nobody should tell you different, all right? You tripping off this negative energy. You keep on. Why do these people keep doing this? Why do these people keep trying to bump, bump, bump? Bump me over over the head with a motherfucking belly club full of what? Why do these people keep trying to cover me and hit me in the head with a motherfucking belly cup full of negativity? Because you keep letting them. The belly, what I say, belly club, belly, belly, belly club full of negativity and nonsense because they feel that they can do it because you're not going to do anything because you didn't do it the first 10 or 11 times. Okay. So they feel like they can keep on. They keep on keeping, keeping, keeping. But you need to let it go. Okay. You, whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is you're soaking in, whatever you're doing that's making you feel better, you got to stop doing it. Okay. We have the world card, the nine of cups, the ace of cups, the empress and the tower. So this person, when you get out of the situation that you're in, releasing those people that no longer serve you in the glory of your highest good and honor, let them go. Okay. Because they're going. The people that you're going to see these new partnerships and alliances are going to help you are going to help you see not only that, but they're going to help you value your worth more. They're going to help you see your light, okay? And they're going to help you cast out all this negativity and darkness and BS and words said that should have never been said. These energy vampires that are taking away all of your energy, all of your resources, and using them as their own. I don't know, Virgo. Would you be offended if I told you to grow some balls? <laughs> and transform your way of thinking about yourself and making better choices. And I can't say at this point, making better choices about who you bring into your life, making better choices of who you keep in your life. And some people can come into your life and be like a breath of fresh air. Then that bass can turn into a motherfucking thunderstorm, tornado. Uh, what is it? El Nino, all of that crap, you know? Transformation, making wiser choices, uh, it's putting people in their place. When they treat you bad, the first and second time, okay, I can see you dealing with that shit. But the third time you get to scratch in your head, pay attention to the red flag. Something's telling me that I should get out of this situation, okay? But first, you need to put that person in their place. If they don't listen to you, if they don't do the things that they're supposed to be doing that you're asking them to do, kick them to the curb. Then we won't have to have this conversation anymore, do we? Hmm. All right. 